Jason Statham can indeed act. I knew it was true. I knew it was true. Redemption, or Hummingbird as it was originally titled, stars Jason Statham, and this movie is about a guy who's sort of down and out. The movie starts out with Jason Statham and he actually has hair. It's very interesting to look at. It's, it's very, it's a little confusing. He's homeless, he's roaming the streets, he's trying to protect homeless people, he's basically a good Samaritan, but at the same time he needs help. He accidentally lands in this guy's apartment who he finds out is on vacation and he decides to live in this apartment for a while and try to figure out a way to clean up his life. All the while he's getting to know a nun who works at this homeless shelter who feeds homeless people and at the same time he's kind of becoming this pusher for these various drug and gang related organizations in which he's the guy who comes in there and says, we need the money right now, I'm gonna kick your ass, essentially. That was my best Jason Statham impression. Not very good. Sorry. So the movie really is about a character who's trying to run from his past, trying to be a better person, trying to start a new relationship that leads to something good. And I was interested in the film for a while. But the problem with Redemption is not Jason Statham, who actually gives one of the best performances of his career in this movie. The film feels a little bit messy and a little bit convoluted. It's trying to be a lot of different things. It's trying to have some action scenes to please the Jason Statham fans, but it's also trying to have a sweet romance in there that, while at times interesting and does have some good chemistry, these two things don't really feel like they're cohesive for the movie. It's a good looking movie. The nighttime photography is really impressive, and as I said, the performances in this movie are really strong, but it definitely suffers from a lot of pacing issues because it feels like when the film is starting to pick up with the type of film that you would think it would be, it retracts and tries to be more emotional, which is great that Jason Statham is really going for that. But this film needed a tighter script and tighter direction to really be able to sell these multiple storylines. Because when certain emotional arcs hit in the movie, while the performers were doing an excellent job, I didn't really feel the emotion that was supposed to come with that because the movie itself is way too jumbled to be able to support all of these dramatic and at the same time action heavy things happening. That being said, the performances in this movie are really top notch and I was really impressed with especially Statham. That guy needs way more respect than people give him, honestly. Even though a lot of his movies are generally the same character, a sort of down and out guy, you feel bad for him, he's kicking ass at the same time, there's a girl, it's usually, there's certain things that are all in the Jason say them code book and they're in this movie for sure. I don't mind that if the film is told well. And this film could have used some editing and some things cut out, some storylines that didn't need to be there, and a better focus on how the movie would be told. Overall, I'm going to give Redemption a C+. I think it might be worth a watch at some time, especially if you're a fan of Jason Statham. But it's not one of his better movies, but it's certainly better than Parker, his last film. I actually truly enjoyed Safe that came out last year. I think that's a really underrated movie. If you're a fan of Jason Statham and haven't seen that yet, or just want a good action film that's actually really well directed, check out Safe. So thanks as always for watching, guys. If you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.